What's going on, Brand Fam? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Brandon F., on another fabulous episode of I'm Hungry Damn It. Huh? It's Brandon, bitch. And today's episode, we're going to do the follow up to the sense of entitlement that I was talking about because uh, I was actually. This is something that happened to me like about, I want to say like maybe seven or eight months ago. I went out one night, you know, single, ready to mingle. And you know how it is when you, you know, you get a little horny. Better yet, scratch that. That's an understatement. You get a lot of horny. You meet somebody that you like. One thing leads to another. And before you know it, bam, you done had a whole one night stand. This, to me, I feel like sense of entitlement because I just want to say something that goes to, you know, whoever. Just because you give up the ass, that does not entitle you to that person's cash. So I just want to say, I'm not going to say any names because I don't like to blow up nobody's spot like that. But, you know, I had got down, like I said, a while ago, we do the whole you dig and then the next day it's not even 24 hours later it's i think 18 right it was it was about 18 hours it wasn't even a full 24 hours later and i get you know the call we were already talking but i had got the call i'm looking and i missed it because i think i was at work and i was getting ready to clock out for lunch or something but i had missed the call anyway i got the text message you know hey where are you up to yada 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 are we still on for tonight i'm like yeah sure no problem so excuse me damn excuse me shoot i need to quit drinking all that chocolate milk all right so we had a conversation we were supposed to like link up again because we really liked each other or at least that's what i thought and I'm on the phone after work, getting ready, you know, tidying up, making sure my place is somewhat halfway decent. Because the night before we had came back here, but we kind of messed some shit up. So I'm like, let me tidy up again just to make sure the place is, you know, presentable, presentable. Because it's different when you live alone than you kind of like, I don't care. But when it's. When you're having company, you got to make sure that it's, you know, presentable or what have you. So I'm getting ready and I'm just, you know, making sure everything is, you know, copacetic. Oh, I skipped the part. Actually, when I got off work, we had talk and I'm just like, you know, how's everything? Oh, everything's fine. What are you up to? I'm like, oh, I just got off work. I'm at you know, Chick-fil-A right now eating. Oh, I want some Chick-fil-A too. Do you? <laughs> then maybe you should go get some. I mean, I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. I mean, because I already knew, like I said, I, I, I pick up on certain things pretty quick. And I know when somebody is trying to get over on your boy. So I'm just like, I know you don't think that I'm going to pay for that shit. I know damn well you don't think that I'm going to buy you some motherfucking food just because we boned last night. Like, nah, this ain't that. So I was just like, oh, well, damn, you know, I hear you. And that's all I said. And I, I think that's all I needed to say. So at that point... You know, I back to where I was, like I said, I'm tidying up, I'm getting comfortable, I'm making sure, you know, everything is where it needs to be. Then I get another call. This is how the call goes. OK, so we going to do it like we just been doing it. This is me. On this side, we going back and forth. Check this out. <clears throat> Yo, what's good? Oh, nothing, Poppy. What you up to? Nothing. Just cleaning the place up. That's all. What you up to? Nothing. Just feeling kind of bad. Oh, yeah. What you feeling kind of bad about? Oh, because, you know, I really don't have any money. Pause. Now, this is where the bullshit starts. Y'all stay tuned. Listen. 
oh damn no worries you know what i'm saying i got i got shit here you know so we ain't even got to go out besides i ate earlier I, I went out to eat so we don't even have to do all of that oh no it's not that it's just that i'm a little short meaning now brandon you you said you got me right yeah i got you you said you really like me and everything right I did say that. Yeah, true, true. No doubt, no doubt. All right, because I want to ask you something. And like I said, I'm used to people like, oh, you know, I need a place to stay or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. No, nah, listen to this, y'all. I need $40. Click. That's exactly what the fuck I did. Like, we just met. Like, you have to have some type of pride. How dare you ask me, oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. It was a one night stand, but see, that shows me that you a money hungry hoe. That shows me that you're going to be one of the people that I don't like who always has their hand out. I hate to say it, but damn, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it ain't even been a full day and you already asking me for money just because of what we did the night before. It don't work like that. That's why I'm kind of tripping right now because I'm kind of like, like, damn, you know, motherfuckers is still doing that. And... I mean, I liked you. Notice I said like, that's past tense. I did, you know, like you or whatever, but the whole, oh, well, you know, I need to borrow $40. That's not cool. That's that's not hitting. That ain't on nothing. I mean, I'm just glad that I found that out before we went any further. Because, I mean, I'm not, you know, ashamed or, you know, anything like that. I, I could talk about you know, certain things in my past. I'm not going to give y'all everything. You know, y'all got to wait, you know, for the biopic in about 30 years before that happens, before I just let it all hang out. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I'll be like real on certain topics. You know, sometimes I'm in a relationship. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I get horny when I'm single, a little desperate, if you will, just like, damn, I just want to, you know, get wet just once you know what i'm saying but uh tmi tmi i i know that i'm just you know i'm just you know venting with y'all just you know because i feel like that's what we could do but um i think everybody gets to that point but you got to know like how to differentiate the two now there have been instances where it was supposed to be a one night stand but we do it once twice three times then it turns into a 10 night stand before you know it i'm in a whole relationship that's not the case here now once i'm in a relationship I got you. I'm going to look out. But just because we did what we did, you think you're entitled to what I make? <sighs> you crazy, bitch. But anyway, that's 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 what I was tripping of. So I was like sort of saying how the sense of entitlement that I did a while back when I was talking about a relative of mine. I just noticed that it seems like the more and more. I deal with people, they just feel entitled. I see that a lot. Motherfuckers just assume that you owe them something. Nobody owes you anything. If you want it, be a boss, go out there and get it. I mean, I, I can't really say any more than that, but you know, go out there, make a way for yourself. Like I say all the time, I love somebody with that go get it attitude. You know, I'm from the shy. That's that's what we are, you know what I'm saying? We make things happen. But for you to be like, oh, well, we're family members or we slept together or whatever the case may be. Don't look for handouts because that's like one of the quickest ways for me to not even deal with your motherfucking ass. You know, so that's the, that's all I'm going to say. That's just a little story time, guys. Um, before I did the part one of this, it's been a long time since I've sat down with you all and just been real, had a one on one heart to heart. So that's all. Don't feel entitled. Nobody owes you shit. If you feel like you want something, then go get it. You know, because I mean, it's to the point now I don't even want to do favors for motherfuckers no more. I'm the type of nigga, you know, you 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 stick your hand out. With ill intentions, I'm the type of nigga to tell you to put your ashy hand back in your motherfucking pocket. That's that's how I'm getting down. 
for the rest of 2019. That's that's I see I'm I'm going to have to start treating people like that. I don't want to because I feel like if you need something and you need need it, then that's different versus saying, "Oh, I need $40." You didn't need $40. You wanted $40. You know, so that's that. But brand fam, y'all already know what it is. If you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe for everybody that didn't. Drop in my comments. I know we didn't try food today, but we'll get back to that momentarily. I mean, this is I'm hungry, damn it. Uh, hunger doesn't always have to be physical. It could also be mental. Hence my food for thought. So brand fam, I'm a uh, finished getting ready. I got somewhere that I got to be. I got to get up out of here soon. So I'm a uh, finish, you know, doing what I was doing. I just wanted to talk to you all a little bit because that was kind of on my mind and I hadn't had a chance to like really re up and connect with that. So brand fam, I'm going to get up out of here. You guys, y'all know what it is. Mwah! Love you until next time.